Hello friends, welcome back to War 10 of Season 9. Oh, Platinum 3, rank 91, holding, holding the fort here. Today we're taking on DPJ, which stands for something that I can't pronounce. Looks like Russian or some sort of uh, Cyrillic. I don't know. All right, we're, today we're going in with Void and Blade and Dormammu because we had a mystery mystic champ on the... Um, what was it? The explosive armor personality, explosive personality armor up, whatever node that is. Um, I was pretty sure it was gonna be like a juggernaut, but you never know. All right, so first up we have a uh, BPCW, um, and you notice I took a little bit of a different um, different path in tier one this time. Uh, that's because I am home for uh, a month on paternity leave, so I am able to jump into war immediately um, so I just jumped in on path 9 to free up uh, my guy codex on path 8 and we can get going and then um, the third guy who takes the right section with us um, usually is in a little later so um, maybe not the the best efficient use of energy uh, but it got the job done so uh, Black Panther not a problem you know just gotta watch you don't accidentally parry him uh, when you dex uh, which has happened to me many times before. All right, so we've got a gulk here on uh, buffet recovery. Um, you know, gulk here. You know, really they're relying on his gigantic health pool um, with buffet. So if you don't have a direct counter to buffet, um, you you might not be able to out damage him with somebody like Sparky. Uh, you probably could. You know, a fully boosted Sparky with ten poise is probably going to destroy anybody. Uh, but I prefer a more subtle approach with Void. Uh, so boost it up a little there, so you can see. Um, I fight Gulk, you know, I think twice, uh, twice every day in AQ. So I've gotten a lot better at at fighting him. Um, the key thing that I remember is whenever I am baiting out a special during his special one animation, I. I always make it a point to glance up to his his buff section there, um, looking for that little yellow uh, fist icon, um, because if you see that, then you cannot punish his special one, or he's going to go unstoppable and he's going to pound you in the face. Um, and you only have really, you know, less than a half a second to to make that determination and decide whether or not you should uh, go back in for an attack and punish the special one. Or if you should, you know, back off and, and parry again. So, um, you see there, I, I saw the smash icon. I backed off, parried, um, uh, and I was safe to to go in then. Um, you know, sometimes if you're not fast, you can get really messed up by that because he he hits pretty hard. Um, you know, he's not going to proc face me um, because these these debuffs are not passive damage over time debuffs. So. Uh, I do avoid that. Um, I think my parry failed there at the end, uh, so I took a couple hits, but not a big deal. Um, all right, so here's our mystery Mystic Champion, um, and it is Juggernaut. So the reason I went with Dorm over somebody like Ghost Rider here um, is is really just because you know Dorm covers all Mystic Champs, and and the only Mystic Champ on um, that I would be you know that that I would be afraid of facing without, you know, a Dorm on the team would be like a Sim Supreme, because he has uh, he's not tagged as a villain, so Ghost Rider wouldn't help me there. And all of the annoying Mystics are, are villains already, except for him. So, uh, but Juggernaut there, you know, really not a problem. All right, today we have a King Groot, another high health pool champ. On uh, what is this? This is the. Uh, arc overload path so there take another combo I don't know what happened there um, so I think my health pool is low enough here after taking that combo I think I make the determination here that I'm going to wait for his furies to come back up um, and then I'm going to do the trick where you get the intentional armor break um, so I can heal up um, I think I can heal up close to max there so I dash in um, he gets the Furies mid-special, I dash in, making sure that I get hit while he has one. I get the permanent armor break, and now I have, um, I'm healing for 143 a tick, uh, which is nearly 300 health per second. 
for the rest of the fight. Um, you can already see it's only been you know maybe 10-15 seconds and I've healed uh, close to 10% of my health so it's, it's really putting in a lot of work. Um, much cheaper than using health potions, you know. Free healing against a King Groot is always good. <laughs> I was, I was pretty sure even even despite being at seventy percent when I um, when I got tagged there, um, that I would be able to heal up to full, if not very close to it, um, as long as I didn't take uh, another couple combos to the face. Um, so other than that, I've got Fear the Void up here. The Petrifies are up, so the Arc Overload will be uh, doing some heavy damage to him here in a second. You can see. The DGen numbers, you know, there's I see a 1701 there. I see, um, you know, a bunch of other neat numbers. So he goes down pretty quickly as soon as you get that the heal reversal on him. Uh, and then we get some connection issues, which is just you know, typical. <laughs> All right, last but not least, we have a uh, Thor Rags on the Strike Back Recovery Node. Uh, so this this fight does not go very well, and it's because I I lose count of the uh, power gain charges that he has there on the right hand side. So normally I play this fight, um, I back off immediately after he gets a, f a bar of power and bait the special attack. Um, so right here, I miscount um, how many hits my special has, and I, I give him the power gain at 20 hits instead of canceling it, um, and he you know gets a special 3. I know immediately, you know, I'm at 100% health here, but he has me against the wall. I'm going to be stunned. He's going to give those those shock charges when I hit him or when he hits me. Um, it's pretty much it's pretty much over. I've got I've got no shot here, um, and you know I get parried to boot. So, you know, a single mistake costs me, you know, my 100% health champ. Um, so math math is hard, kids. You know, stay in school, and then you will, and then you too will not miscount. Thor's power gain, so a little bit painful to revive uh, here because um, it's going to take what, like four or five uh, L4 potions to heal Void up. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a little not on tilt here, but I'm I'm a little bit annoyed that I I made such a dumb mistake and that was 100% on me. Uh, so you know, I I didn't probably need to heal up you know this much, um, but I wanted to be extra safe. Um, you know, I didn't want to give up a second death. Um, you know, I, I've talked about before about how dying is kind of a point of pride with me, and I hate I hate dying. So um, this time I'm going to keep <laughs> an extra watchful eye on the power power gain counter there. But the strategy itself is still the same. Uh, um, and and to boot, I get the petrify up right away here. Um, so even if I do miscount. Uh, the power gain is cut in half, and you know, as luck would have it, I get the second petrify up, and now I can play the the, the fight completely normal um, because his power gain will not be an issue, and his uh, the strike back node will not be an issue either. So, um, just kind of you know, playing as I normally would. Uh, I have to be careful not to intercept because he has I don't know what the sig on this was. I mean, it's a six star, so probably only like twenty, maybe forty. Um, but he has a chance uh, to auto block and parry you on an intercept. So, um, and of course, there I, I intercept. I, I don't. I fail to take my own advice, of course. <laughs> and I get the petrifies up right away after fear of the void. So now his power gain is reversed. You know, there there is a bit of that RNG when you play void when you need you know certain debuffs to apply first. Um, you know, when it happens, it's great. When it doesn't, it kind of sucks. So. Uh, so, <clears throat> another pretty rough war for us uh, that brings our record to three and seven. This is this has really been a, a forgettable season uh, for us and for me. So my second death of the season, that potion count going up. Uh, now once again, that's all glory. None of that is units, which is great. You know, I I, I loathe to spend units in war, and I haven't yet uh, this season. So I'm happy about that. So. Alright, uh, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.